All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back into another video My name is creepers and today I'm here to do a part two to the Lilith tutorial that I did a couple of weeks ago now You're probably wondering why would I be doing a part two? But when I did that video I asked people which other champions would they like to see next and somebody came up with this brilliant idea that maybe I should just you know do a part two for the video of the tutorial explaining and showing what I did on that tutorial in a real life situation life match and that's exactly what you're going to be looking into right so if you didn't see that video you can go and find it I will probably try to put it in the end of the video and uh, as a little clicky thing um, but for now, enjoy the gameplay and check out what's going on on this gameplay here. Really awesome gameplay. Now, I want you guys to understand one thing. I saw some people being against what I'm teaching you on Lilith. But like I said, Lilith has a bug currently that having multiple swarms stacking together will eventually make the, the next swarms after the first one ends do zero damage to the enemy so you end up losing a lot of value you have a lot of bugs both on the first talent then on the swarms and with the card that reduces the duration but increases the effectiveness both of the damage and the heals of that swarm it compensates and allows you to not have to wait for a swarm to be over for you to place another one so again check out that video to understand exactly what i mean and then also check out this gameplay and let me know down in the comments below what other champions would you like me to do tutorials for now enjoy the gameplay all right murders in 10 10 no not that one this one let's go and chronos because we are main healer do we have another healer we got beam plane da damage healer while wow, discussing. Let me just put a mark on this disgusting ROM main. Oh, wow. Hey, she ran. Wait, they have a Lilith? They have a Lilith. There's a Lilith in the enemy team. What the hell? Who did I place the mark? It's not on Dennis. <laughs> I had my ult back there. Oh, I killed her. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no game sound. Oops. Let me fix that. Boop. And Paladin, executable plus, okay, okay. There we go, now we have a game sound. Oh my God, that's amazing. And we got ult. Oh, I pressed it by accident and I saw a slam the floor. Why are you shooting me? You got a circle in front of you then? Oh, this. What? Did I just get a second ult or my first ult didn't didn't go off? on Vatu, which is the... Oh, let's not go there. She's gonna try to look that door. In three, two, one. There she goes. She blocked it. Wow, Vivian just melting. Oh, what the? Vivian just melting an hour. Disgusting. Probably controller main, too. Oh, no. It's just the 2022 Crystal Award winner of art. That's definitely controller main. All oh, that rays feeding. Yep. Nobody was near you, Mr. Beam. I was just spawning in, so. 
Uh oh. Oh, what the hell? Why me? Get him, Dennis. Get him. We just fell out of the map. Hey, hey Vivian. That's Haram. Got the legs here. Got a mark on you, Vim. Uh oh. Got a mark on Vatu. Let's hold. I'm trying to predict where she's going because of the slow shooting that Lilith has. And this scenario somehow is moving too fast. For me to predict that. Oh god. Nice save. Nice save. Beam, you got a mark. Go in. She went over the wall. She's dead. Got him! So, in this scenario, we have um, a damage support, so it doesn't allow me to show the full potential of damage Lilith as main support. But for anyone who's actually wondering why am I playing damage talent and the tour, uh, you know, and the the, ta the loadout that I showed, uh, as I specifically explained on the video before. The swarms right now are bugged, right? And it's just a lot more value for you to do a lot more damage, get your ultimate faster, get the swarms not to stack on top of each other because of a bug. Uh, you can, however, go with the first talent. You can still take this loadout. I mean, nobody's stopping you. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video, go go watch it, okay? You'll see what I mean. Got him. If they get another double, well, I died. Trying to save Beam. Oh well. But yes, for anyone who didn't see the first video and is wondering what is bugged, if you try to put a swarm on top of another swarm, the second swarm will not do damage to an enemy that is standing inside of the first swarm. As soon as the first swarm stops doing damage, the second swarm will do zero damage whatsoever in total to that enemy. So, because Lilith has that value of the damage. Oh, wow. Okay, Nara. I feel targeted here, man. That's all for the blood. Are you what? Combat mechanics, anybody? No, 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 no. Dennis is there, but he was trying to hide to survive. He survived. But uh, any combat mechanics here? Oh, that didn't win. As I expected. Let's go. Drop a swarm and shoot them. They want to know what's going on. Uh oh. Team, I need a mark on you. No! go kill to heal again another tip not a lot of people know this and maybe you didn't see the first video placing a mark on somebody who is killing an enemy uh one ally that is killing an enemy if they kill the enemy you will get a 1000 blood health for free see the value on the distance on the lateral distance that i just placed there and this as well, like I can do these plays from side to side. Run away faster. Go further distances. Get my ultimate charge. 
That's... Uh, yeah. I saw Beam getting in trouble there. Put a swarm and gave him the ultimate. Let's put the mark on Inara. Because Inaras are one of the most disgusting things on this game to deal with right now. And the mark... I'm not 100% sure whether or not it uh, ignores the DR. But one thing is certain. It does a pretty good job putting a mark on him and a swarm. They they will start to sweat, I guarantee you that. Here it comes. Oh, you saw that? I got the damage boost from shooting the little stone on the floor and actually hitting an hour next. She took extra damage because of her stone. So you, there you go, the talent actually stacks on deployables that are like earthen guard and such like that. That's really stupid. <laughs> um uh, so the current bug that I'm talking about is like imagine that this ROM is an enemy and I place this circle right now I wanted to place another circle on top So this second circle now would do zero damage because the first one stopped Now the second one doesn't do anything. Why because I did a video about this you guys can go back. It's called the uh, shadow nerf uh, Lilith shadow nerf where Essentially the developers were trying to shadow nerf her uh, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but they did now they they forbid the swarms from doing damage uh both of them at the same time if there's one on top of the other they can still heal double heal but not but not double damage there she is so now you see the damage we're pulling off here the nara the naras don't stand a stand a chance against against Lilith. Killing spree. That's a bad one. Nice. <laughs> uh oh, I'm dead here. Nope. Did I pull off the ult? No. So apparently the animation has to completely end for Lilith. So maybe at the start of the game I didn't actually pull two ults, I only pulled one. I'm gonna pull ult. Now the first circle is over, so I can place another one. Uh-oh. Well, combat mechanic is gonna help them again. I guess we can just see how much I can stress this out, right? Like how much I can take it to the uh, absolute insane level. How much damage, how much heals. And we can see now that we are at 90% uh, anti-heal. So how valuable is a damage Lilith compared to a heal, uh, healing only Lilith. Like, I don't think that if I went main heals, I would have been able to fight that Drogos as often as I am playing. Plus this little damage I'm doing with the Swarm. It gives me ult charge, folks. Again. Absolute anti-heal, ignoring... 25% and now we pull our ult. Killing there we go. Spree. Look at that. Oh, did I also mention that that her ultimate allows her to jump higher and faster? Not faster, sorry. But uh, she moves faster in the ultimate, I think. I see the Lex there. There we go. I'm, I know I'm gonna die here. I was just committing to the Drogo see if I could actually take him with me, but... Unfortunately not. Now we have morale boost too. Kill to heal too. Remember, kill to heal does apply on blood health. Some pe I still see players nowadays who think that it does not affect her blood health. Uh, they think that it only applies to her blue HP. And, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense now, does it? Oh, that Drogos might die here. Fifteen seconds remaining. 
that extra distance coming in clutch. Oh, what the hell? No! It placed a circle up top! <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I was stuck there. So, I can actually place a swarm on the upper level with Lilith. Wow, I just figured out a secret technique. Insane. You know what? I'm actually going to try to pull it off again. Oh. She's uh, messing around with Chichi. So I did this. It placed it up top, I think. Wow. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. So I can't place it up here, obviously, because there's no level up there, but... If you're on a room that has a under level, you can actually place a swarm up there. I still think that the, you know, the swarm deserves the verticality that rocks totems have. But hey, that's just me. They treat it a little bit like, uh, for example, Dumba's Gourd, but to an absolute horizontal level. If you place a swarm in stairs, it will only heal you at the precise level of the placement, the center of the placement of the circle. So you have to actually move to the center of the circle in stairs. I think the Drogos might die there? No, he ran away, okay. Retreat, I don't have any heals for you. I went too aggressive on the left side there. Now we're on that type of scenario that I hate very much, which is a 3-2 scenario, where they might cap due to ca uh, combat mechanics. Oh, I placed a mark on... Okay, Beam, beam still got it. Just the mark there. Got the little bug of the swarm there, so I just left-clicked and ignored it entirely. We're gonna wait for the circle to go over. Okay, Drogos is dead. Place a circle there. And it does more damage, and it's also faster on healing and damage, so it's pretty good, especially late game, because it's way more aggressive. You need to be fast with your damage so that you can take advantage of the anti-heal. Chi-Chi might die here? Yeah. Money's dragon, however, is being a pain in the buttocks. I like how it now actually says revealed when you're standing inside of the swarm. Ran away. Again. Placing swarms on... Not swarms, sorry. The mark on enemies should be only limited to situations like this. To Naras or something. Because putting it in allies is going give to you, give you a lot more healing. And the longer you hold it on somebody, the more blood you get back. So constantly changing the mark might not be the best solution for you. Maybe you don't want to play that way, okay? Maybe you don't know how to manage your blood and you want to just put a mark on somebody and forget about it. Just make sure you count around like 10 seconds every time. Oh my god, that's a zooming in out of... Get some hay ground there. The Nara is there, which is dangerous. Let's use this to save maybe. I need to do damage to this Lilith so she can stop being a, a nonsense. One thing is certain, Inara died as soon as I did damage to Lilith. So we might need 
somebody to tip paid a little bit more attention to it to Lilith instead of Inara. Okay, she's they're both coming. Uh focus the Lilith. Beam. Yeah, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Now focus Inara. He doesn't have any heals. Tim, you're too far away. I can't see you. There we go. So our plan here, is, as you can see, is to disrupt the Lilith and then go for the Inara. We can win this by just doing that. Because we need to take away the Inara out of the point. Uh, Dennis is not going to survive fighting it. And, well, Inara can just ignore a lot of anti heal so definitely it's going to be necessary. We're just going to go still with morale and kill to heal. No need for getting nimble because I already have a lot of distance on my jump, so I can go further. That's part, part of the, the reason why I have those points there, so that I don't have to, you know. Like, I don't like the height. Like, if you go with the vertical one instead of the lateral one, what's going to happen is you can jump higher, but not further. And it's just going to make you a lot more of a shooting target. Now, if you prefer to play more passive, you can use that. And you can then essentially, um, you know, just jump in the back a little high. And you can get, like, this, what I'm doing right now. The, you know, the... Okay, I took it. I took one for the team. Yeah, nice job, nice job. Dennis is actually playing Earth Splitter instead of like the. You need to focus on Lilith first, folks. Apparently, I don't think I can save you, or maybe I can. Oh, not fast enough. Okay. Need to dis disrupt this Lilith as soon as possible. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Get her! I'm going master, I don't even care. That's what I like! I rushed that, that Imani and actually used the damage from the uh, ultimate. From the talent, I mean, sorry. Okay, here she comes. I'm gonna focus her with everything I got, Beam. You too. Go. Okay, we might lose this now. Okay. Just a little circle there. Let's go! What's up, team? That's right. And Nara and Lilith is one of the most disgusting combos you'll ever face in this game. It's almost similar to a Soul of Blessing Yago, but this is even more menacing. But still, really well played by both teams. GG. Um, I didn't do a lot of healing because, again, I was being a lot more aggressive. But you can see, if you want to go uh, a bit more onto the healing side you can then have a lot more healing. But in this case, unfortunately, there was a lot of damage reduction on their side. So this Inara took it like a champ, right? Or or, or Rom was more of a damage sponge than anything. If I actually, you know what? I'm gonna give it a little look here real quick. Little look-see into Paladin's Guru, just to show you guys how much damage did this man, that, that that's how much healing Inara can actually pull off. She's like a healing sponge. Um, match history. Then I'm going to go over to the last game I just did, which unfortunately it's not showing up. Uh, I don't think that the bot actually shows the data for that. That sucks. Uh, match me, no? I think, let me see, let me see, let me see. Damage taken. Oh, it does show here. Okay. So here it is. And I got the picture right here. And here it is. So, essentially, Rom took 300,000 damage. But because Inara ignores a lot due to the damage reduction, it also goes in there. 
And then you also have the particularity that she can actually ignore anti-heal. Something that the Rom doesn't. Rom cannot. Right? So Dennis was suffering way more than that Inara. That's for sure. Inara was just chilling with the heals from the, the Lilith. Um, which it was a very good game. Unfortunately, the Lex seemed a bit off. I thought I was actually expecting a bit more from him. Uh, died 26 times, only killed seven. Our team was doing a crap ton of damage and kills, as you can see. That's why the Lilith also pulled all that heals. Um, but yeah. There you go.